Hello, my name is Josh Omora. I'm senior member of the technical staff at Advanced Micro Devices. Here we are at the Performance Lab and actually in the Dev Center. Here is all the computational infrastructure that we use for high performance computing activities, research, marketing, and business. I am going to demo a, a platform that has eight processors in Istanbul and four PCI Gen 2 chipsets. Because of the Istanbul processors have the prop filter, then every processor is capable of delivering 10 GB per second bandwidth. So if we got eight of those, we can accumulate, aggregate 80 GB per second of bandwidth, all the processors, all the cores reading and writing into main memory. Then we have four PCI Gen 2 chipsets, which are capable of delivering, thanks to HT3, in the range of five to six GB per second bidirectional bandwidth. So if we have four of those, then we can have something like 20 GB per second bidirectional bandwidth. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this system with within a cluster of same technologies, Istanbul and PCI Gen 2 chipsets through InfiniBand Quad Data Rate. And we're gonna pump all that I.O. bandwidth to the compute nodes and, and we're gonna do a demo about how to exploit this, this system in here. And this is the demo that we want to show you. It has two parts, the processor part and then through hypertransport it connects to this other part where we have the chipsets. So we focus on this part, we have eight boards that have the Istanbul processor and I have connected in here DDR2800 or DDR2667 and each of these boards or processor can give me in the range of 10 GB per second or on DDR2800 or in the range of 8 GB per second on DDR2667. So thanks to the prop filter I can aggregate the performance, the bandwidth and I can achieve in the range of 80 GB per second if we're talking DDR2800 or we can achieve in the range of 60 GB per second if we're talking DDR2667. Actually, that's what we have in here, 667. So we'll be showing later uh, a rate of 60 GB per second. Now let's move to the other part where we have the chipsets. So this is the chipset part of the platform. As you can see, we have four of those chipsets. Each of them, when running with HT3, can deliver in the range of 5 to 6 GB per second bidirectional bandwidth. So we have four of those, we can achieve levels of 20 GB per second bidirectional bandwidth. Then what we are having is connected to each of those chipsets a quad data rate infinite one car that is capable of using all that bandwidth available on the platform. So once we put this thing in, in the context of a cluster, we can use this system to get in and out data very, very fast at rates of 20 GB per second and we could, for instance, store this data into the main memory and since we got 60 to 80 GB per second in here and we're capable of pumping in and out 20 GB per second, this becomes an ultra-fast storage solution for local or shared file system to the cluster.